Hi everyone. Please I welcome you all you to our special garden. Our garden comprises about more than uh, 2000 to 3000 plants which will be around uh, 760 uh, species of plants we have in our garden. So today I'm going to show you a uh, very few drugs from that. Let me start uh, today's uh, session with shatavari. See this plant shatavari. It's a scandent shrub, a climbing shrub. We can say it as scandent climbing shrub. See what and all you are seeing it's not a leaf it's not a leaf it's a modified part let me come to that part see this here the leaves are reduced to spines the leaves are reduced to spines and leaf uh, the stem with a single node and internode is modified into a leaf like structure into the leaf like structure so this is not the actual leaf this is called as cladode this is called as cladode stem with a single node and internode is modified into a leaf like structure it is called as cladode and the leaves actual leaves are reduced to spines the leaves are reduced to spines okay here this leaves like structure whatever you are seeing is something small needle like that's why in sanskrit it is called as um sukshma patra funny jihwa parni funny means snake snake's tongue it looks like a snake's tongue funny jihwa parni sukshma patra as the sum of the synonym of the leaves as the leaves are needle like small and then coming to the flowers see that flowers are creamish white flowers creamish white and they are axillary in nature see this when the leaf comes here the stem and the angle uh, the leaf point angle that is called as axillary the flowers are in a axillary position it is white and it is also fragrant you can smell the leaf, uh, flowers it will be fragrant and coming to the fruits fruits will be small globose round and when it is um, ripen it will turn to red so it's a climber leaves reduced to spines and the stem with a single node and internode modified into a leaf like structure called cladode flowers creamish white fragrant and fruits small round reddish okay in this plant shatavari the useful part is the roots so i will show you the roots now to you see this is the roots of shatavari this is the very small roots actually the roots will be more uh, three times four times bigger to this size see this shatavari asparagus racemosus belongs to the family liliaceae liliaceae is a monocot family and as that it is a monocot family it is known it is known that uh, it has fibrous roots roots are fibrous from the base of the plant we have many roots so that is called as fibrous roots and these fibrous roots get deposition of starch in it and um it becomes swollen and this um fruits will be used medicinally okay so that's why it is uh, a mod modified part called as fasciculated tuberous roots fascicle means group of so it is a fasciculated tuberous roots um is used in the medicine this is a tuberous root it will be become more than 4 uh, to 5 times size it will become bigger so it is somewhat fusiform sharp somewhat uh, a radish shape it will get it and uh, it will be bigger okay and uh, this drug is mainly stanyavardaka this drug is mainly stanyavardaka in kannada it is called as halavu makkala thai beru see this roots you have many roots from the single point so that it says that as that many roots are there it is called as halavu makkalu or the if we take the concept of loka purusha samya means as that many roots coming from the same point and again it is a galactogog or stanyavardaka 
if this roots are given to a postnatal woman she will be able to um, nourish many children so that's why it is named as halavu makkala tai beru and as that many roots are at there at this point it is called as shatavari shatapadi shatamuli peevari bahusuta synonyms as to the root na as to the number of roots so it is not only stanyavardaka it is balya brumhana vrushya rasayana and uh, it is used in amla pitta rakta pitta many other condition but the first preference of shatavari goes for stanyavardaka and in total you can say this shatavari as a tonic for women it regulates the menstrual cycle it regulates the hormones and the woman so that it can be given in wide discharge it can be given in the um, metrorrhagia heavy bleeding so in all cases of uh, are in uh, anarthava that is uh, secondary amenorrhea also we can give this as it regulates the menstrual cycle as well as the hormonal uh, secretions in woman it's a tonic for human this is the root of shatavari asparagus racemosus I'll just show you one point how we can have some identification feature of this shatavari you have a bunch of um, fusiform roots uh, from that point and that is madhura rasa yes we can say and with this leafy characters we can say that it is shatavari but still i can show you one more point in the root if we this root is fusiform shape and uh, this if it is big it will be bigger four to five size uh, length and also the breadth and this root if we cut this fresh root no uh, it will show a mealy white surface a mealy white surface so this is one identification feature of asparagus racemosus that is shatavari and if we see still more point if it is a matured root we could have find see this central point there will be a central yellowish strand see when we cut transversely we can find this whitish mealy white surface and in the center yellowish strand so this is also one identification feature of shatavari that is asparagus racemosus